find the coordinates of the center of gravity of the uniform laminar enclosed by the line y is equal to 2x and the curve y is equal to x squared. Okay, so basically we've got to find where the center of mass of this lamina is here, this shaded area here. Okay, where this point is 2. Okay, so I'm going to label the bottom one y1, x squared, and the one across the top over the area y2. That's very important to get that round the right way. Okay, so each of these will be a little strip here. The center of gravity will be x away from the uh, y axis, that, but from the x axis, it will be the average of y2 minus uh, plus xy1 divided by 2. It's the average of all these, and they're all summed up, making an integral. So the center of gravity is x bar, y bar. Now, with this uh, video, there's this GeoGebra app here, which sort of gives you the proof of what I'm about to do, these formula that I'm going to use here. There's a diagram there to go with it. This is a bit small to see on this video, but the link of this GeoGebra app will be in the notes of the video in the description. If you're interested in the proof, I suggest you check it out. So, for the x bar, it's going to be the integral from a to b of y2 minus y1 dx uh, is equal to the integral of x times y2 minus y1 dx. So doing the integral, that's going to be the integral of y2. So it's 2x, one on the top minus one on the bottom. So it's going to be minus x squared from 0 to 2 is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 of x times that area. So working out the integral here, we're going to get x squared minus x cubed over 3 from 0 to 2 is equal to the integral, expanding the bracket here, 2x squared minus x cubed dx. So putting in 2, we're going to get x bar is 2 squared minus 2 cubed over 3 minus 0. And now integrating this, we're going to get to two thirds of x cubed minus x to the four over four from zero to two. Okay, writing that line out again. Okay, use the uh, fraction bound on your calculator. That gives you four third of x bar. Putting the numbers in two thirds times two cubed minus two to the four over four minus one which will get, also give you 4 over 3, which gives you x bar is equal to 1, which probably was what we would expect it to happen between 0 and 2. Um, and because of some, it being a bit symmetrical, um, but it does show you that the calculus method works. Okay, for the y bar, Okay, we need to consider this now being the distance y2 plus y1 over 2. We need to sum all those up. Don't forget integrals is a process of summation. So we get y bar times eight, integral from a to b of y2 minus y1, i.e. the area, is equal for the integral from a to b of y2 minus y1, which is the average of where the center points are going to be from this axis times the area of the curve, which is uh, y2 minus y1. Obviously, we're going to integrate all that. So those formally are shown in that on that GeoGebra app. So y bar times 2x squared minus x squared dx is equal to the integral of a half of a 2 plus x squared from here. I've taken the half out, and here we get 2x minus x squared. So here we've got the difference of two squares like factorization of it so that will be uh, easy to uh, work out but not all it doesn't always happen but be, look out for shortcuts though we've already worked this out to be four thirds y bar of a half of four x squared minus x to the fourth using a squared minus b squared is a plus b times a minus b so it gives me a half integrating that's going to give me four x cubed over three minus x to the five over five from zero to two Substituting in, we're going to get a half times 4 over 3 times 2 cubed minus 2 to the 5 over 5 minus 0. Writing that all out again so we can see it. 
Okay, using fraction button on your calculator, that will give you that this is 32 over 15. Dividing by 4 over 3, that will give you 8 over 5. So the center of gravity is going to be 4 thirds, comma, 8 over 5. Okay, don't forget the proof of it. You just need to read down here on the side. It's easier for you to do yourself. You'll be able to do it on an iPad as well. Um, I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.